Welcome to pre-math. In this video, this uh, blue square along with this uh, yellow square are fully confined uh, in a big uh, square A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this point P is their point of contact and they make an angle of uh, 45 uh, degrees. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow square. And last but not least, uh, the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 77 centimeter square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. First of all, uh, keep in your mind that this A, B, C, D is a square. That means uh, this side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. Uh, likewise, uh, this side length uh, all of them are equal in length and now let's focus on this uh, blue square whose uh, area is uh, 77 uh, centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and our area is uh, 77 so therefore i can write uh, s square equal to 77 let's undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both sides so our side length uh, s is going to be square root of uh, 77 so therefore all these uh, side lengths of this uh, blue square are going to be square root of uh, 77 across uh, the board and now let's focus on this uh, yellow square let's assume this side length this one is uh, x centimeter this is x centimeter x uh, and across the board uh, x centimeter as well then the area of this uh, yellow square is going to be x times x is going to be x uh, square we are using uh, this uh, formula of the square let me go ahead and call this as our equation uh, number one now our task is to find the value of this uh, side length x and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw the diagonal uh, bd as you can see in this uh, next diagram uh, by connecting these uh, vertices b and d such that this uh, diagonal uh, coincides uh, with this uh, side length uh, of this uh, yellow square uh, lk and now we can see that this uh, angle is congruent to this angle they are our uh, corresponding uh, angles so therefore if this angle is 45 degrees this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well and now we know that this angle is 90 degrees now let's recall the triangle sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees so therefore let's focus on this uh, right triangle this is a 90 degree angle this is a 45 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well likewise let's focus on this uh, right triangle since this is our 90 degree angle this is uh, our 45 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well and now we know that this whole angle is 90 degrees this is a 45 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well and we know that this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so therefore all these angles are going to be 45 degrees as well since these are our 90 degrees angles and since all these angles this angle is equal to this angle so therefore this triangle is going to be an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, this side length uh, has got to be equal to this side length this side length uh, is uh, square root of 77 then this side length has got to be square root of uh, 77 as well and likewise uh, this triangle is also an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, this side length uh, has got to be equal to this side length if this side length is square root of uh, 77 so this is going to be square root of 77 as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, right uh, triangle and this is also an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, 
equal to this side length. If this side length is x, this side length has got to be x as well. And finally, let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle. This is also an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. If this side length is x, this side length has got to be x as well. Now let's go ahead and make an observation. This whole uh, side length uh, AD is going to be square root of 77 plus uh, square root of 77 as well. So therefore, this side length uh, AD turns out to be 2 times square root of 77. And since we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD, so this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. So therefore, this side uh, length AB is going to be 2 times square root of uh, 77 centimeter as well. And now let's focus on this uh, diagonal uh, BD. Its length is going to be this uh, segment uh, that is x units. This another one is uh, x as well. And finally, this is uh, x as well. We are going to add x plus x plus x is going to give us uh, 3x. So therefore, this side length uh, BD has a length uh, 3x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAB whose uh, side lengths are uh, 2 times square root of 77, uh, 2 times uh, square root of 77, and uh, 3x. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, leg a, this uh, leg b, and our longest leg as our side c. Therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a, in our case, is uh, 2 times square root of 77 and then a whole square plus likewise 2 times square root of 77 whole square equal to our c is 3x whole square. And now if we take the square of this part that is going to give us 308 likewise this is going to give us 308 as well. So therefore, I can write uh, 308 plus uh, 308 uh, equal to on the right hand side. This is going to become uh, 9x square. So therefore, 9x square equal to 616. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 9. This is gone. So we put in a decimal that is approximately equal to 68. Uh, 0.44 centimeter square and now we can see from this equation one the area of this uh, yellow square is uh, x square and we figured out the value of x square over here so therefore the area of this uh, yellow square is going to be approximately equal to 68.44 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be approximately equal to 68.44 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.